Hey Explorers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you around to some of the food halls here in Atlanta. I'm gonna take you to five different food halls and you can jump to that food hall in the chapter linked down below in my description box. I couldn't show you everything and I couldn't eat everywhere, but I definitely wanted you to see these five food halls and markets because I love them or I just tried one of them. So make sure you have that subscribe button hit and stay tuned to see these food halls. First up, we are headed to the Municipal Market, better known as the Curb Market to locals. The Municipal Market is located in the Sweet Auburn neighborhood at 209 Edgewood Avenue Southeast in Atlanta, right outside of downtown. The market is open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. It was founded in 1918 as an open air market, but the municipal market opened its doors to a new building in 1924, and it is home to 30 local businesses. As you can see, these businesses include fresh meat, local produce, baked goods, cooked food, and so much more. And I actually was lucky to get in here for a New Orleans Mardi Gras celebration. And they do have a pretty sized parking lot right out back of the market. And if you do park there, make sure you bring in your parking ticket because you can have it validated if you visit the municipal market. Next up is Politan Row, located at Colony Square in Midtown Atlanta. Politan Row features 11 independent restaurant concepts and private event space. But as you go around and you find something to eat, you can eat inside or outside as you see here. Even though Politan Row has been open since 2014, I originally found out about this food hall when I went to JoJo's Beloved, a hidden cocktail lounge right off of Politan Row. This cocktail lounge has a variety of different drinks and has a kind of like a 70s speakeasies vibe inside, but they do not sell food and you must have reservations to go here. And there is a time limit on staying at the cocktail lounge. So afterwards, obviously we need something to eat. So that's how we discovered this wonderful food hall and have food here. I ended up getting food at Gecko, which is a Japanese restaurant here at the food hall. And I couldn't resist but to go back again because the food there is so good. But they do give a lot, so I ended up getting a to-go box to take with me. But when you do order food here at the food hall, you will get a little buzzer. So you can go sit down, you can go find your table where you want to sit. And once your food is re ready, it will buzz and beep you so you can go and pick up your food. And you don't have to worry about just standing there and waiting around. You can also place orders for some of the restaurants, if not all, online and you can go and pick it up. Next up is my favorite place in Atlanta, Pont City Market, located in the Old Fourth Ward district of the city. Pont City Market, as you can see here, has a lot of different stores outside as well as inside. But 
If you want to park here, it can get crazy, especially on the weekend. So there is parking on ground and below ground, as you can see here. So let's talk more about Pont City Market. This area was named after the Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon's mythical search of the Fountain of Youth. Ponce de Leon Springs attracted Atlantans seeking rest and rejuvenation in the 1860s. Now, as you can see here, there is a wonderful outside lawn area for seating and they do decorate this area during the holiday season. But as I said, it's named after Ponce de Leon, but in Atlanta, we don't say Ponce, we say Ponce. So if you want to ask someone, where is the Ponce City Market? Don't say Ponce, okay? <laughs> so as you can see here, there are more shops outside, clothing stores, bookstores, seating areas, and then we have a rooftop. So here is the entry, the elevator to go up to the roof. Sometimes there is an entry fee to go up there. And on the rooftop, you have carnival games, drinks, and you have a lovely view of the city of Atlanta. Now let's go inside to the food hall. So more about Pond City Market. In 1903, the springs and the surrounding gardens were converted into Ponce de Leon Amusement Park, being dubbed the Coney Island of Atlanta. And eventually the lake across the street from the amusement park was made into a baseball park. But eventually Sears Roebuck and company in 1925 bought the land and created the building where Pond City Market is located today. Now, as you can see, there are a variety of different foods here. There's Chinese food, Puerto Rican food. You can find French macaroons, delicious desserts, all types of food in here. I've eaten at a lot of different places like the Hops Chicken, which was delicious, the um, Chinese restaurant, which was delicious, the Italian restaurant Bellina, as you can see there, was delicious. So we're done on the first floor. So now let's head upstairs to the second floor of Pond City Market. As we head upstairs, let's talk more about this building. So as you can see, there are a lot of different stores and food places inside of Pond City Market, but as you go up, you can find lofts where people live as well as businesses. So you can find business offices such as Pinterest inside of Pond City Market. There's also access to Atlanta's wonderful Atlanta Beltline, which is a walking path through the city. You can bike, you can walk, you can skate, and you can find a lot of different things off of the Beltline. But as we walk further on the second floor, you also see one of my other favorite places inside of the market, which is Bar Vegan. Bar Vegan is owned by Pinky Cole, who also owns Slutty Vegan. This is an extension of her Slutty Vegan restaurants. The food is delicious here and they have wonderful drinks and it is a great vibe at Bar Vegan. So this building didn't go directly from Sears to the market it is today. The Sears showroom closed in 1989, but in 1991, the city of Atlanta purchased the building from Sears and converted it into City Hall East. But after City Hall had it for about two decades and only had about 10% occupancy, the city of Atlanta decided they should sell City Hall East in which Jamestown purchased the building. In 2011, Jamestown began to restore this historic building into what it is today. There is a lot of restoration and expansion throughout the years, and eventually it will be expanded more, which was announced in 2020. So as you can see, there are a lot of places to sit and eat outside as well. And if you come here, you must pay to park. So you can pay online with Park Mobile or at this booth as this person is doing. Next up is the Crog Street Market located in the Inman Park neighborhood of Atlanta. The Crog Street Market features 22 different dining and retail businesses. And it is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., and lastly, Sunday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. But definitely check out their website because hours can change when there is a holiday. Now I speak more about the history of the Crog Street Market in a separate video, which I'll have linked up above in a card and a link down below in my description box. But just to let you know, there are luxury apartments located at the Crog Street Market as well. 
as well as office space. And it looks like they're expanding more based on my recent visit to Crock Street Market. When you do visit, they do have seating inside, as you can see, as well as some seating outside. Crock Street Market can get very busy as well, but as you can see here, I came pretty early, so it's not as busy and not all of the food shops are open just yet. They also do have a few restaurants that are traditional, not in the food hall area, such as Superica, which was one of the restaurants I used to always go to during happy hour when I first moved to Atlanta. Just to let you know about parking, parking is very limited here. They do have a lot on site where there is free parking, but a lot of it is sectioned off for valet, particularly on the weekends and only 20 minute parking areas. So you may have to find street parking or wait for someone to leave. But they also have electric charging stations for you to use here. And they had electric charging stations at Pond City Market as well. And the last food hall we're gonna visit in today's video is the Chattahoochee Food Works located in Atlanta's Upper West Side. I have been meaning to get to this food hall since it opened, I believe last year, and I have not been there and it's actually closer to my home. So this is the first time I'm going in today and I'm gonna take you along with me. Chattahoochee Food Works is located at the works and it has 31 vendors inside. It is a 25,000 square foot food hall featuring some of the best exciting foods in Atlanta. I saw foods from Cuban to donuts to, I don't know, soul food, Jamaican food, all types of stuff here. And there was a long line for them donuts, which I'm very disappointed about because I wasn't standing in any line. <laughs> So let's take a look around at all of the different foods here. And just to let you know, each of the food stalls had some type of little seating area near it, but there's also general seating area inside as well as outside. And dogs are actually allowed in the outside eating area. The decor inside the food hall was very unique and very interesting, cute to look at. But also it was cute that the food hall was actually connected to the rest of the works building where you can walk through and see a lot of lounge and seating area. There was a furniture store, there was a workout place, there was a nail shop and so much more. And you can easily come back into the food hall from the works. Now I'm gonna get some food from Delilah's. It is a soul food restaurant and it looks like they were having a soft opening, but I could not pass up the barbecue chicken sandwich because I love barbecue chicken sandwiches. And they had mac and cheese, which was a side. It didn't come with the sandwich. It came with homemade chips. So I'm gonna dig in and enjoy this meal, which let me just let you know, this food was really good. Like I had to leave a Yelp review as I was sitting there. That's how good it was. Definitely impressed with Delilah's.
And just to let you know, the parking is free. There is a lot of parking right outside at ground level. It is a long parking lot, as you can see, and it was free to park there, at least for now. And there was a garage. I don't know if there's a cost to go in the garage, but there is a garage if you cannot find parking outside. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this video, make sure you leave that down below in the comment box and make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free. And make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and your social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever in the world you are. Bye.